Morning folks, it's just a, a, a video on Garmin Basecamp and routing. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll notice that when I draw, when I start to draw a route on Basecamp, I click my start point as everybody does, but my end point is my last point to be clicked. So in other words, I click, click, click all the way down the roads that I want to go until I get to my end point and the last click then becomes my end point, if that makes sense. What we're going to do today is I'm going to start a route knowing that I've got my start point and an end point, but the middle section, I'm not quite sure where I want to go yet, so I'm going to leave it until I do. So, for instance, I'm going to start in Basel at the top of Switzerland, and I'm going to go to somewhere near Lake Como down in the bottom. So I've just got me one line, and Basecamp will automatically calculate a route. If your settings are to set to non-avoid anything, then it will always calculate the fastest route, which is obviously through Switzerland going to be on motorways and toll roads. But you don't want to be going on motorways and toll roads, or I don't personally. So what you've then got to do is you've got to start adding shaping points into this basic route to get it to manipulate the map to take it to where you want to go. So I know, for instance, that these three roads here are bikers paradise roads the three the three passes the suston the grimsel and the furka pass it's bypassing all that and basically taking you straight down the motorway if you want to go on these roads you're gonna to have to tell the base camp that one you want to go on the road and two you've got to put enough shaping points in so when it transfers it to the zumo and the zumo then recalculates it again that the zumo also knows that where you're wanting to go in no point in putting one shaping point on that route because the Zumo is going to disregard everything that you've done and it's still going to take you the way that it wants to. The more shaping points you put into the route, the better and the more accurate it's going to be. Up to 100% accurate. I don't get any problems or very, very little problems um, if you spend the time on base camp designing and drawing the route, putting enough shaping points in before you transfer it to Zumo. So you need to go to your insert point. For this you don't worry about zooming in too much for the time being. What you've got to concentrate on is getting enough shaping points in there. So zoom in far enough so you can see where you want to go. You don't have to zoom right down to street level at this point. But zoom in far enough. Get your line up, which I've lost. Get your line up and click once and you'll get your elastic band. Zoom in just so you can see where you're going and start adding shaping points. Add one at the start of every road. So... Just start clicking and you'll start seeing that the magenta line starts following where you've been clicking because it's got to hit the shaping points. And what you'll see is the more you put in, you can see how many I'm putting in on this single road and this road is probably 20 miles long. So I don't know, put, I'm not going to tell you how many to put in, just put enough in so it's got to hit every one of these. And what you'll find eventually is that the base camp will think well hold on a minute we've gone that, we've gone that far off the original route we may as well carry on on the route that we'll that you're planning now and we'll uh, we'll re-alter it as it has done just there once you get to that point don't think that you can't keep dropping shaping points in because you've got to because at the minute you've not got a shaping point between there and the end point down here that elastic band is massive still so there's a lot of scope for error and that's what you've got to think. The bigger the elastic band, the more errors you're going to have. The shorter the elastic band, the better it's going to be. That's the way you've got to think. So just keep clicking. And you'll see. Even click on the magenta line that it's already drawn. If it's even in the right place, make sure you're still clicking on it. Because I don't even want to go down here. I want to come back across the Furka Pass. So you've got to start clicking on the Furka. And it will jump and you'll see the route change and at that point you know you're on the right lines but you're not quite home and dry until you've put enough shaping points in. Now what you've got to do is scroll about you've still got a great big bungee here um, that you still, if, if this route is, is good and it's the way that you want it just drop a load of points in all the way down it um, don't leave it as it is just make sure you keep dropping points. If, however, you get to a point where you think, oh, hold on a minute, that road looks nice, I'll go down there. Swap and change it. So 
you get to the point on this junction here but you want to go back up this road just start dropping points up the road plenty of them and eventually the zoomer uh, sorry not the zoomer base camp will follow you as you can see once it's followed you keep dropping routes in uh, keep dropping points in I'm not with it this morning and you will see that you're there now once you've done it get rid of your bungee by right clicking and double click on your route what you need to now do is you need to go into the route on individual points and make sure that they're on the road because if they're not on the road then it will take you off the road and I'll show you what I mean when I can find one that's not exactly where it needs to be i.e. that one it's not far off but it's not on the road so what you need to do is you need to go to your move point and you need to click drag and drop it back on the road that you need and that needs to be done on every one that one again it's not far off but your zoomer is going to come down here it's going to tell you to turn right to hit the point to do a u-turn to come back to get back to the junction turn right and then carry on but there's no point in that it's just adding time and wastage um, to the day and it's going to annoy the hell out of you so just drag it drop it and it will make sure that it's on the right road and you need to do that just by clicking through all these I mean I don't want the hell it's done there but it, that's not right so just click it drag it drop it and it will get rid of that magenta line because you're telling it to stay on this road and this is this is final tweaking this is you you've got to do this before you transfer it to the sat nav because otherwise you're going to be going here there and everywhere so you keep scrolling through them make sure you're fully zoomed in when you're doing these that one there Just zoom out have a look see how far it is off and it is miles off by the looks of it yeah absolutely miles off so what you need to do is you need to grab it if it's miles off like this and you're not quite sure where you need to drop it just drop it somewhere in the region just to get rid of the line that shouldn't be there then zoom in further and move it into position properly and that way it's 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 perfect again that one again that's not far off, but it's far enough off. You don't want to be you don't want to be coming down here for three hundred yards. So all you need to do is just drag it and drop it onto the road again, and just make sure that when you drop them, you zoom right in. Like that one is very, very, very. You probably can't even see that on the camera, but that is very slightly off the middle of the road. So just make sure you drop it into the middle of the magenta line, and you're cutting out a lot of the problems you're going to face when you're actually on your trip. Um, there's nothing worse than going onto a trip and then taking a bit of a detour like that up to somewhere that's in the middle of nowhere that's got no importance to you. You don't want to go up there um, and you've got six of your mates behind you swearing and cursing at you because you've just gone up this single track road and you shit up to eyeballs and uh, you've got to turn around and do a U-turn and one of them fell off behind you. So just click and drag and drop them. Once you've done all this, and you're happy with the route, then you can transfer it to beta, transfer it to your Zumo, and your Zumo, as long as you've got enough shaping points between start point and finish point, the Zumo will re recalculate and it will go on the route that you've planned 100%. The Zumo works slightly different to what you think it does. It doesn't plan. Once you've dropped shaping points in between start and finish point, them shaping points then become routes for the Zumo. So the Zumo will calculate a route from the start point to the first shaping point, from the first shaping point to the second shaping point, and so on, right through to the end. It doesn't calculate it as one route. So if you've got 100 shaping points in there, then you've actually got 102 routes that the Zumo is going to calculate. So the more shaping points you can drop in, the more accurate the Zumo is going to be at recalculating that route, if that makes sense. So on 
a um, f for instance a hundred mile route put as many as 50 shaping points in one every two miles and that way um, your Zumo when it recalculates is going to sort itself out properly and it's going to take you down the roads that you want to go on not the roads that it thinks you want to go on it remember it's not it's not human it's only doing what you tell it to do if your shaping point is 50 yards up a bank somewhere but your shaping point is up that bank your zoom out is going to think well this knob's put it up this bank i'm going to take him up there because it's what you've asked it to do it's 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 a computer so you've got to be accurate in what you're telling it to do and it will work perfectly for you if you can't be bothered to go through every shaping point and make sure that they're exactly where you want them i.e on a dual carriageway if you drop the shaping point because you've not zoomed in properly and you drop a shaping point on the wrong side of the dual carriageway the zoom out is going to take you off at the next exit take you right around the island back down the other side of the dual carriageway you're going to hit that shaping point because it's what you've asked it to do then it's going to get you down to the next exit turn you back round on the roundabout and then it's going to take you on again as, as basically you you want in it you've told it you want to do a loop because you've dropped the shaping point on the wrong side of the dual carriageway and i've done it like a knob i've done it more than once I've, i'm thinking well this isn't right i've just come from down here i'm going right around the island i've zoomed in on the zoom out and my shaping points on the wrong side of the dual carriageway or the wrong side of the motorway so just zoom in as far as you can and make sure them points are exactly where you want them. That way you're not going to get any problems. The only points that I have alerting are the start point and the end point because you can't change them. And if you've got a lunch stop, um, have it alerting you as that's your lunch stop just in case you really don't know where you are going. Um, and like a lot of you, you, you just spend a lot of time just admiring the scenery, riding the roads and you get lost in it. Um, and before you know it, you've drove past where you're meant to be going. So just have it alerting you that you are coming up to your lunch point and you have got to stop and eat something and have a, have, uh, have something to drink before you carry on for the afternoon. But uh, all the rest of them, I have them as non-alerting because I put that many in on a route. I don't want me sat enough pinging in my ear every time I'm passing one of these shaping points when it's not actually got any meaning. So the only meaning points are my start point, my lunch point, uh, and my end point where I'm stopping for that evening. So I hope that helps a few people. Any questions, drop it in the comments box and I will try and answer it if I can. Um, I'm not with Garmin. Um, I've got nothing to do with Basecamp, Zumo or any of them. It's just my experiences through using Basecamp um, and different Zumos over the past and having struggled probably like some of you are now um, hence why you're watching these videos to see how you do something or how why this isn't happening so uh, it's it's basically just there for your information and if you fuck it up it's not my fault thanks very much